called for stepping is HIS make another sub and PE sub five in five out HIS now on the attack PE have said they are two three zone the ref has blown the whistle Welcome to the second half. Uh, P under 16 versus HIS under 16. PE leading 7 9. And PE is on the attack. They find the short corner. They're trying to make inroads. Back to the short corner now. It's almost stolen by HIS there. Um, PE needs to calm down and make sure they go to a deliberate option. Make a turnover. HIS are attacking, uh, P is attacking, and HIS has set a 2-3 zone defense. Uh, P is trying to just pass the ball, as play has been interrupted by HIS. We tapped a uh, pass away. Sub, HIS and P E. Inbounds and try and break the 2 3 zone by HIS and PE makes yet another unforced turnover. HIS first five is back with their point guard number five. 
also trying to break a 3-2 by PE. There was foul by PE on number 18 as he was making that layup. So the ref, the first free throw being taken by HIS. First free throw missed by number 18. Now the last free throw. takes the second one, misses, gets his own rebound, pass inside, another foul on number 14. PE are not boxing out, and HIS is gaining second chance points and attempts and putting PE into foul problems. First free throw good by number 14, so the score is now 9-8, PE about to tie. Free throw good, score now, once again tied, now it's 9-9. Nine, nine. PE need to be a bit composed because they're rushing their play and make yet another turnover as HIS tries to rush it as well and they make a turnover. I'm sure the ref did not notice that PE kicked the ball out. Now we see some composed play, but uh, unfortunately they make it another turnover. Oh, what a block by PE. And they're going for the fast break. And PE try to, to attack. And make an offensive foul in the process. HIS regain position. A ref blows his whistle. Yeah. Yeah. HIS inbounds. And the point guard is trying to size up the defense. And PE are trying to stay resolute in their 3-2. And they stay resolute. They steal the ball. And in the process, they rushed and made a turnover. But HIS said, kick the ball. So PE is attacking once more. Oh, PE is making unforced errors. So HIS also rushed. And. The inbound, the inbound, the inbounding player stepped on the line to save PE from their misery. Now, PE trying to attack once more. Oh, what a good attack. PE seems to have a composed player now. Underhand layup and got fouled number four from HIS. And it's been awarded two free throws. First free throw missed. And then last free throw by HIS. Number four missed again. PE collects the rebound and they attack. Uh, and PE tries the three. Oh, unfortunately missed. HIS tried to go on a break. And they seem to be proceeding cost to cost by number 14. And makes a turnover. Score still tied up for the last two minutes or so. PE trying to break the 2-3 through passing. And they're trying to move the defense. Seems to be succeeding. But they're not going to the basket. They just put passing the ball. They make yet another turnover, a passing turnover. 
PE may, is making so many passing turnovers, something they should work on in the next practice session. HIS go inside, number 14 for a jumper. PE collects the rebound on a fast bread train. Uh, what a lovely pass to Kaome. Kaome again. Basket good. Kaome makes it for PE. He's got good height, that young man. Rebound. P rebound. And HIS is now attacking. They're trying to break the PE 3 2. Foul over guarding there and breaking the windows by PE. HIS ball. HIS ball. HIS seem not to be aware of the sidelines. Yeah. Another good pass inside by PE. Kawome rebound. Basket. Kawome seems to be to have come up to the four now. And HIS HI is, is trying to come back into the game with their number four. Penetration good and fouled shooting two. I think number four's guard skills are very good and is always having his way with PE. Missed first shot number four. Now making a second attempt. Missed again. Violation on the free throw shot. Cross the line before the ball hit the ring. PE seems to be more composed because of the introduction of Kaome. Three point attempt by PE. Unfortunately, not good for them. Now, HIS attacking uh, with a sublime crossover there by HIS number seven. Uh, behind the back pass to number nine by number four. Back to number seven. A three by number two. Rebound Kaome. PE attacking now. All right, the, 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 the PE coach is call, calling for calm. And the boys are responding very well. And then they're just passing the ball around the perimeter and not putting pressure on the, not forcing HIS to play on his defense. Now, a bit of forcefulness. Uh, wild shot, but good interception to Kaome. Kaome going up. Oh, it's unfortunate for Kaome. But now HIS with through number seven attacking. Fouled, fouled in the process of making a layup on the fast break, shooting two. Oh, the ref calls for a sideline ball. Sub for HIS. The main point that goes out, and in comes number nine. Almost getting counted out. Uh, stolen by PE, Kaome hustling there. As PE is attacking, oh, they halted in the process by HIS. A wild short attempt there by PE. Uh, Kaome gets a loose ball. Oh, shooting two. It was almost end one, but um, the ball did not have a good draw for Kaome's sake. Another HIS sub, number 11, comes in and number 17 goes out. Uh, Kaomet about to make his first attempt and the ref has checked the ball. First attempt loading. Missed by Kaome. Let's see how he deals with his second attempt. Second attempt by Kaome. Uses the bank. It's good. It's now PE 14, HIS 9. Another steal by PE, trying to get composed. I think the addition of Kaome and the other player has kind of calmed. PE, unfortunately, they lose the ball on a fast break. HIS missed the attempt. Sideline, sideline, but 
foul by PE. I wonder how many team fouls PE is on now. HI is passing the ball into the little pockets, but in the process they're losing the ball. SPE is running fast break. Unfortunately, they're not passing the fast break. A short attempt, Kaome tries the rebound, tries to go up. Basket good, Kaome puts PE uh, in a very commanding lead. 16-9, PE leads. HIS trying to be calm amid this storm that PE is thrown to them. Kaome is collecting all the defensive rebounds. Unfortunately, that was a wild pass by Kaome and they lose the ball. HIS ball. Sub. PE makes two subs. I think the two form threes, uh, one form three and one form two, are the mainstay of this PE under 16 team. And they have actually stabilized the panic that was within their ranks. Although the other players from PE seem not to have caught up in this calm attitude that the other two players are exuding. As HIS is attacking now in the PE quarter court, PE 3-2 is being resolute. And number 18 is trying to attack. And number 12 has succeeded. Rebound by Kaome. Oh, Kaome is cleaning. He's being a garbage collector today for PE. So PE trying to make headway. And now they are attacking. As the PE guard was fouled by HIS. I'm sure you can hear the PE support in the background. Game over. Game over. PE has won this game 16-9. Well done to be Junior Panthers.
Uh, HIS has just completed their uh, war cry, they're pumped up and the Panthers are just going through their last minute instructions from Coach Drew. Um, two distinguished coaches uh, from the Panthers, Coach Drew, who's also the national women's team coach. And we've got Coach Gideon from HIS, who has also played for Zimbabwe national team during his playing days, very experienced player and coach. <laughs> Prince Edward has got Jamal Mayenda in the first five. We've got Wilbert Stoller. There's also Travis Chivige and Albert Zinomwe. For HIS, we've got a jumbo between Travis and Jacob Anders. So, HIS get the first position, and PE is playing a man-to-man. -man. Stolen by Travis. SPE is attacking. Basket good. PE scores. And as Travolta Zimunu is fouled. What a oh no basket, apparently. Is HIS scores. Let's go, Let's SP go, is attacking with their very experienced point guard. Let's Rebound go, PE. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Fazwa is running plays. Let's go, and Travolta got blocked on his ascendance to, to a layup. HIS attack. Uh, uh, low percentage shot taken by HIS. Estafazwa gets the ball. And he is running their normal play. Three point attack by Tafazwa. Rebound. Back to Tafazwa. He has scored their play now. With that player handoff. And to Travolta for an attempt. HS running the fast break. And then P is attacking. Off a turnover by 
HIS. Oh! Tafaz were trying to attack. Ah, what a good move. Foul in the process. Basket good. Travolta of uh, an assist from Tafadwa. Uh, PE being deliberate here and very well composed. One shot being taken by Travolta. Missed rebound, defensive rebound collected by HIS. And HIS is now attacking. Foul by PE number six, Wilbert Stole. Fouled on the floor, so HIS should be inbounding. HIS trying. Ah, oh, we just had a ball inside on the court, an extra ball on the court. Ref has blown his whistle to restart the play. We have number 15, uh, Thistle, trying to make plays. Unfortunately, there's a disjointed pick, pick and roll. Travis tries to shoot the ball. Unfortunately, it's blocked. Um, as HIS is attacking. This seems to be a very well balanced affair. HIS also being deliberate like PE. Travis fouling again. That's his second foul. Estiso gets the ball, robbed off. And HIS foul in the backcourt. And then we've got Tafaza with an open play. Is a basket for Tafaza. It's like hot knife through butter. There was no resistance from the HIS defense there. Eh? HIS playing this. Um, playing a high-low pick and roll because PE is the Panthers are playing man to man. And HIS book a timeout. The first time out in the half, and they only allowed two timeouts. So, so far, PE has got four, and HIS is trailing two points. So, the score is 4 2. Timeout over. The referee beckons all players to come back onto the court now. Play resumes. HIS baseline inbound in PE's basket area. HIS for a three there. Unfortunately, it has hit the roof. So that's a violation. SP is attacking now. Estafazgo attempts again. Rebound from Travolta. Uh, unfortunately, the attempt is not good. Stolen by Tafazgo again. Tafazgo makes good of his attempt steal and basket good so PE leads 
Travolta called for a foul. And HIS ball now. They're trying to attack. Ah, good into the pass. HIS setting some good screens and making some pick and roll plays. But PE's defense is very athletic and recovering very quickly in the process. HIS is being, three point shooting is inhibited by the roof structures here that are very low. And as the ref blows his whistle for the first quarter with PE leading 6 2. Oh, it seems, it seems they are playing eight minutes halves. We just need to confirm with the table. Resuming the second quarter now is is arrow. Uh, I think the table has forgotten to change the arrow. Uh, SPE is attacking now, and they attack with Travolta passing to Tafazwa, and Tafazwa making a very spirited attempt and getting fouled in the process. So Tafazwa for free throw. First attempt Tafazwa. Good. That should put P on to seven. Tafazwa on the second attempt. Misses. HIS makes two subs. Tafazwa is controlling this game very well. As Travis makes a good layup. HIS seem to be in a panic mode now. They're now rushing their plays in a bit to try and catch up. Tafazwa is going up. And Tafazwa get fouled in the process. A foul by number 15. And Tafazwa is shooting two. misses his first attempt. Oh, 
Second attempt now for Tafadzwa. Misses two free throws. And HIS sets a fast break. Uh, good penetration by number 13. The layup is not good. Estafazwa is running rings and is having Panthers in full control of this play. SPE number seven tries to attack. Estafazwa goes for a three. Rebound PE. Rebound PE. They recollect the ball. As number seven tries for a layup. Rebound by PE again. They put in the ball back to Tafadwa. Uh, Mimo. Basket good. By Ryan. Ryan gets a rebound and scores. HIS getting overwhelmed. As the ball is stripped off their point guard. And Ryan makes another point. Another basket for Ryan. So PEF stretch their lead now, 13-2, as Mimo almost stole the ball but fouled in the process. Sorry, Tafazwa almost stole the ball. No, oh, it's Tadiwan, Tadiwan should almost stole the ball there. Ah, it's layup by number 14 HIS as they try to come back into this game. Travis is trying to hold onto the ball too long. Um, a wild attempt there by Tafazwa. Rebound HIS. HIS transition is being impeded by a good transition defense by PE. But a a good workout for a short PE rebound. The miss shot. It's a spectacular layup is made by Tafazwa. PE seems to be running away with this one. Good penetration by number 14. Good attempt, fouled in the process. If PE is not careful, there will be foul problems in the, sec in the second half. That will push their um, unforced rotations. As we wait for number 14 to take his first shot, HIS free throw. Free throw good, that's the shooter's touch right there. Second shot, good. Wilfred has been shooting well and scoring for HIS. SPE is back in the quarter court for, of HIS. Good block by HIS, by Wilfred. They run their fast break. Fortunately, make another turnover. Unfortunately, they make another turnover and inviting PE to attack them once more. Oh, turnover by Taf turnover by Tadoashe, which results in an, uh, the basket for HIS slowly creeping back into the game. Score now 15-8. Another turnover by Tadoashe. PE has recovered. And back to Wilfred. He's very good and strong. Good rebound, gets his own rebound. Oh, the ref, the ref signals basket good. And 
the score is now 15-10. HIS are on a good run, on a five, oh, it's actually on a 6-0 run. PE Coach Drew has requested for a timeout to try and break HIS momentum and resurgence. One time seemed to have been running away with it, and the resilient HIS dug in deep and went on a 6 0 run to reduce it to five points. As the play is uh, called back in, um, it should resume with a free throw by. Number 14, Wilfred Katamo. So Wilfred is about to take a free throw to reduce the areas to four, and a swish for that matter. Nothing but net for Wilfred as the score goes to PE 15. The Panthers have got 15, HIS 11. Now they're doing the handoff play. It's Mimo attempts, and he gets fouled in his penetration. That means he goes back to the free throw line, but, but um, Nemo is, is affectionately called his name Tafadzwa Chim, Chima, Chimangure is missing as he has missed his first shot. I thought he was going to be a beneficiary of a uh, commentator's case and then score in the process, but it seems he continues missing as he takes his second one. He misses again. He has actually missed six points on the free throw. Travis seems to be heading for a foul trouble as he, he makes an unnecessary foul again as Wilfred is trying to penetrate stolen by Mimo as he makes an a pass to Tadiwa, and they restart the formula. He's a good one-on-one -on -one player. Now they're playing the handoff move. Oh, he got fouled in the act of shooting by number two. takes the first of his free three throws he misses Tafazwa has missed a total of seven points on the free throw line he takes his second free throw of the three he scores one more hopefully for PE's sake he has found his shooting hand once more He has lost it again. Good rebound by number eight. Estadiwa tried to go for a steal there. And PE is basically distorting uh, fast break by fast break by HIS as um, HIS is attacking their fast break again. Foul by PE to stop HIS from scoring.
Damien misses his first free throw for HIS. He's about to take his second one. Missed again. And tapped out by HIS. Sub, Travis has been subbed because he's just been taking shots instead of penetrating when he's all alone and there's a direct line to the direct line to the basket. As Tafaz was called for an offensive foul uh, for holding the defense. HIS on the attack now, still nine points down. The score is 22-13 and the HIS player was out of bounds. Uh, HIS coach Gidza, Gideon has called for a timeout to try and stop the hemorrhage from his boys. I'm sure if you're behind me, you can hear the energetic support by the Panthers uh, supporters. They don't stop singing, and this is very wonderful school sport, very exciting, and it keeps the morale high, I suppose, for the Panthers and for the spectators alike. Play resumes as P inbounds, and Ryan is now bringing up the ball, and they go for the handoff play. But this tight marking of the point guard. And that's the last second and plays of the second quarter. And the score is 22-13 to the Panthers. HIS trailing by nine points. This is, we're going into the third quarter now. Uh, SP is leading 22-13. The Panthers are leading 22-13. And it's HIS ball. As Wilfred gets the ball, uh, he's been HIS strong man in the first and second quarter. Three point attempt. Rebound by Tedio. As a three point attempt is taken by H by PE, HIS. 
tried to run a fast break, but unfortunately passed to the guy who's out of bounds. And I'll go back. PE try another three, but the attempt is the attempt is not good, and they get their own rebound. Unfortunately, their baseline inbound is not good. But the possession arrow says PE ball. So the possession arrow hasn't changed. I think the table has forgotten. HIS is running a fast break through Wilfred and is fouled in the process by number 13, by Tanaka Guata. So Wilfred is going to be shooting. Two free throws. He's a very good free throw shooter as he's gotten the first free throw in. Let's see if he can now make it two out of two. And he does. HIS 15, Panthers 22. As Travis and Travolta come back in. As they go for their handover play. Travolta makes a careless pass and a good pass, unfortunately, too long for HIS. Timeout by Panthers. I think Coach Drew has seen that his offensive play is breaking down. Because what HIS has succeeded, they know that after the hand over of the ball, they're going to try and pass the ball to Tafazwa. So they've put a strict press on Tafazwa. So that's how the, the, the PE, the Panthers play is being terminated. So I think Coach Gru is going to have to make a counter play to that effect. Um, so that they can keep on scoring good baskets for, 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 from their plays. Let's see if uh, the timeout has been effective. Normally, the coach's dream is always, after timeout, you should score an easy bucket. And it happens. Coach Drew has made a good counter play. And we'll, let's see how HIS is going to respond to that. Score now 24, 14, and as Mimo, as is affectionately known, Chafazwa, his nickname is Mimo, and he's make, made a foul. Now HIS is trying to attack. Another careless foul by PE. They're just reaching. Instead of moving their feet, they're, they're moving their hands where the feet are supposed to be. HIS attacking, they've recovered an offensive rebound and good penetration to the short corner. Pass back to Wilfred. Wilfred penetrates, loses the ball in the process. A good block, but offensive rebounds. HIS is being resilient, a three there. Rebound by Wilfred and scores. Uh, Panthers are forgetting to box. Mimo is being tightly marked, marked out, trying, trying to mark Mimo out. And Stadio tries a three. He's made too many attempts. And P.E. managed to defend that first break. Otherwise, their transition defense is being poor. 
and Mimo is fouled in the process. Mimo is fouled in the process and is now taking first of his free throws. Is Tadiwa is being subbed. Mimo gets his first free throw to take Panthers to 25. 25-17. Mimo misses his second. As HIS is going for an early offense. Wilfred on the attack again. Ah, good rebound by number five. Missed in the process. Held ball. HIS ball. HIS inbounding. Oh, number 15 out for a three. Missed, missed it. Mimo scores another bucket. And the score is now 27-17. Wilfred with the ball. Wilfred has got strong penetration, makes a strong drive, and is fouled in the process. So he's gonna go for the free throw and shoot two. And Travis has just been given a warning by the referee that he's, he's complaining too much. Next time he'll get a tag. As Wilfred shoots, first shot is in. He's, a, he's got a very good free throw percentage shot. Second free throw good. So the score is now 27-19 to Panthers. <laughs> Travis Scott Sands is, is questioned here as he's catching the ball when he's out of bounds. As PE collects the rebound. And Jamal is bringing up the ball. His pass is intercepted. Another basket by Wilfred. He's a strong, he's got a, uh, he's got a very good strong penetration, especially coming from the top. It's an off the ball foul is called by the referee. That should be the end of the third quarter. And the score is now 27, 21. And HIS has cut PE's lead from 10 points to six points. PE need to find, the Panthers need to find an answer for uh, Wilfred because he scored almost 90% of uh, HIS Shots and Coach Gideon also made a good call when he called for a box on one on Mimo, the Panthers point guard, who is the talisman. So now the Panthers have to respond to that. They've got eight more minutes to deal with their eight, six point lead, and uh, HIS has got eight more minutes to overcome the six point lead and see if they can win this match. The play resumes and it's the Panthers ball. Inbound in. 
Oh, an alley pass. Oh. Wow. That was almost a good block. That was almost a good block by Jamal. But the, uh, for, unfortunately for him, the referee saw it otherwise. It gives HIS two free throws. One of the first free throws is good. Cuts the lead to five points, 27-22. Now going for the second free throw. Oh, Pete is not cleaning up very well. And that's a foul by Travis. Foul by Travis uh, as he hit the shooting end. Of number 13, who then scores, responds by scoring. Cutting the lead to four points. Second free throw loading. Good. The score is now 24-27. PE have got a slender lead now. As Travis tries to shoot. And unfortunately, it wasn't a good attempt. Uh, there's a fast break for Mimo to take the lead to five points, score Panthers 29, HIS 24. And Mimo reaches again. Mimo reaches again and the referee calls a foul. As HIS is attacking once more, tried a teardrop, and Chapazo goes for our cousin. Chadiwa goes for a three point attempt, uh, misses, and his chest back forces a turnover from HIS. Uh, as Mimo and his boys and Ryan. Ryan is now, Jamal is playing point guard now. They're trying to, to maintain their lead. Mimo goes for a three-point attempt. Unfortunately, he misses again. <clears throat> Chadiwa makes a turnover as HIS. Oh, almost stolen there, and Wilfred is trying to drive, go through, misses. Oh, that's too long. Oh, number one from HIS showing some lovely energy there. He recovers the ball for his team. And foul. Travis makes another foul. I wonder how many fouls he's got. Timeout by Panthers. Uh, they've got a five point lead, and HIS has got two free throws to take when the game resumes. The Panthers' defense seems to be a strict man-to-man, -man, but what it does is it opens up for Wilfred to always drive on them without much help. And when the help comes, it's coming late and it will be a foul. That's why these uh, HIS guys are getting onto the free throw line and they're making good use of those um, awarded free throws.
let's see if Coach Drew has adjusted for this eventuality that's causing and giving free throws to HIS. Free throw attempt by number five. Free throw good. Cut the lead to, to four points now. Score 25 29. Second free throw good again. So back to three points. As Travis goes for the attempt and misses. Wow, what a careless pass there. And a miss on the fast, a fast break miss by HIS. And Mimo is fouled in the process. See, Coach Drew is not happy with Travis there. He is missing underneath the hoop. Strange things. As Mimo makes the first free throw, the score is now 30. 25. Uh, second free throw missed. Panthers secure the rebound. And the tap. And um, they make a turnover. And now HIS is attacking through number five. What a good jumper. Score now. Three points, uh, Panthers 20, 30. Three points as Travis is fouled. As Travis is fouled and he's going to the free throw line. He has Mimo whispering to Travis to be composed so that he makes the free throw. First free throw good. 31-27 to PE. Travis taking his second free throw. He missed his second free throw. HIS is now attacking. As Mimo is called for a foul. Coach Drew takes yet another timeout. Uh, score 31-27. PE four points up. <laughs> 